us pray. Almighty God, you daily bless us and fill us with good things. By the work of your Spirit, help us to daily acknowledge your goodness, give thanks for your blessings, and serve you in willing obedience. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace and peace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nice to uh, talk with you again. Hope things are going well in your life. Hope you are fully winter, not winterized, that would be a bad word. Fallized, is that autumnized? In any case, you are fully in the autumn swing of things. And um, again, you're comfortable in the season. Um, I have put away all the things that remind me of summer now, and now I've got to move on whether I like it or not. In any case, seasons change, but God's word is eternal. And today's gospel, Jesus tells a parable to his disciples. And the parable is about a widow and what is called the unjust judge. And the, par and the widow has a problem because she believes she's been treated unfairly and she demands justice. But the unjust judge will not listen to her. So she does what anyone does when people won't listen. And that means she doesn't give up. She continues to press her case. Again and again she comes to the unjust judge and says, Grant me justice against my opponent. Now, the unjust judge doesn't care. He simply doesn't care. He doesn't care about God. He doesn't care about whether people like him or not. But because this woman continues to come to him, he decides he's going to give in to her. He's going to meet her demands. And I must admit, that's the problem I have with this parable, because it makes it seem as though if you nag someone long enough, they will give you what you want. Now, that's a truth found in the world. The kingdom of the world will tell you that if you nag someone long enough, they will give you what you want. But, but I say, Jesus never nags. He never nags people. He speaks the truth, and if you hear the truth, you take that word into your body, and you begin to live out that word. So Jesus never nags, and I would say as a general rule, it's helpful not to nag. It's useful to help people remember and we help people remember, our young people, our older people. We help them remember what God has done for them and what we can expect from God. And we hope that's just simply enough, but we don't nag. Um, I had a pastor when I was much younger who would, would wave his finger at the congregation and remind them how, how they weren't fulfilling their, their obligations as stewardship goes or in discipleship. And I, it always turned me off. And so I promised myself that when I became a pastor, if I became a pastor, I would not nag people. I would remind them. I would assure them. I would help them to recall who they are in Christ and what God has promised them. And hopefully that would elicit some action from them. But it was always up to them what they chose to do. So here we have an unjust judge who... By, protect, by, by continually nagging, uh, does what is right. And Jesus ends this parable, and I want you to understand. He says that if this man will do what is right through continually nagging, won't God do something even, even better and faster? Won't God listen, uh, won't God hear what is said 
And to those who, chosen ones who cry out to him, will he delay long in helping them? And the answer is supposed to be no. So if even a bad guy will do the right thing, imagine what a good father will do. And a good father will do what is right and good for his child. Now, sometimes in our lives, it seems like God isn't listening. But there may be a reason for God perhaps not to immediately answer our prayer. Or perhaps God is answering our prayer in a way that we simply don't see. We don't observe it. God likes to work behind the, the curtain sometimes, uh, able to do things that we can't even dream about. This parable that we heard is a parable that is described as a parable about the disciples need to pray always and not lose heart. And so it is exactly that. If you don't get what you want, continue to pray for it and watch for it. And perhaps God will give you exactly what you want. Or, or there'll be a time of waiting. Or there'll be something better that you hadn't even dreamed about. And that thing will happen in its place. But we don't give up because... Prayer doesn't immediately pay off for us. If you do that, you miss out on a lot of good things. And you, and you, and you don't get a chance to fully appreciate uh, how God continually blesses you. So continue to pray. Pray for people in need. Pray for people who uh, are part of your family and friends. Pray for people you do not know, from circumstances perhaps you do know. There are a lot of people in desperate circumstances throughout this world. And we should pray for people that we don't know in foreign lands, across oceans, and for people who we do know, perhaps when we sense that they need those prayers. Prayer helps those who, who we pray for as well as it helps the one who prays. You become stronger in faith the more you pray. This, I believe, is true. May God strengthen us as we hear these words. May God draw us closer to himself and help us to pray always and not to lose heart, just because what we see isn't exactly what we asked for. Thanks be to God. Amen. In gratitude and humility, let us join in prayer on behalf of all of God's creation. For all the baptized, increase our compassion, deepen grace, and equip us to share the good news with all. May our deeds reflect your holy word. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For your good creation, bring relief to those places which are flooded and provide much needed rain to the parched earth. Empower us to be worthy stewards of your good creation. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For all who work in the judicial system, that they may have the wisdom and courage to do what is right and good, Remove ignorance, prejudice, hatred, and violence from every land. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For all who are sick or ill or injured, that they may receive your healing and wholeness. We especially pray for all who live amid war and violence, and for everyone on our prayer list. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For all who envision your kingdom, that you continue to open our hearts and minds to what is possible. As we move into an unknowable future, help us to test all things and to keep what is good. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. For those who have taught us faith and now rest in your peace, that we remember and give thanks for all your saints. Give us patience as we look to the day when you will gather all who believe into endless joy and everlasting life. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. With grateful hearts we commend our spoken and silent prayers to you, O God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.